Hi, my name is Shirley Duncan. I'm the area president of the Central Coast, which involves Paso Robles to Lompoc. And I was born and raised in California until I was 19 years old when Dave and I started our Air Force career. In 20 years, my husband was stationed in New York, Ohio, and California twice. It was through this that I learned to have a friend, you need to be a friend, and to find a church home. I received Jesus at 12 years old, so there was no rough life to be saved from. God spared me from this. Singing has always been a part of my life. I loved singing in choirs, taking voice lessons, being part of a praise team, doing solos, learning to play the auto harp, and now the cue chord, leading praise in the local lighthouses and writing songs. I started serving in a glow in 1983 on a lo local lighthouse where I grew in the Lord. When asked to serve on a lighthouse board, I was told to be prepared to give my testimony. Well, I thought, I don't have much of a testimony. So a few days later, while driving, I was rear-ended and the car ended up on his side. And the only thing I could think of to say as this was happening was, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. And he took away all fear. When I was pulled from the car, the whole world looked brighter. And from that time on, I was able to tell others about Jesus with a new boldness. Jesus, Jesus, just the mention of his name, just the mention of his name. So I did have a testimony, and much later I started again, attending again after retirement, and was asked to serve on a local lighthouse, and then on the area board. And when the area president was going to resign, I wondered, who are we going to get for the president? Will I be able to get along with her? I get along very well with myself, thank you. <laughs> and my testimony is coming through being the target of verbal abuse for 40 year, 30 years. And after much prayer, I had a new husband when he received Jesus and for the next 25 years until he went to heaven. Dave and I had two children, Lois and Jeff, who left at an early age because they too were the target of the verbal abuse. Our daughter was in a gay lifestyle with a partner for many years. God showed me that I needed to place her in his hands and leave her there and stand on Acts 16.31 that says, Thee and thy household shall be saved. So after much prayer, her partner dumped her and she moved back to San Francisco. She met a man whom she married and on a visit to our home from Las Vegas, she died at 44 years old. God was so faithful to bring me through all this with joy and peace, knowing I would see her again, and I have been able to minister to others in similar situations. And my job experience has been in retail. I found that even though I'm a quiet person, I love working with people starting as part-time and then becoming a manager of a department and then a store, and later after a short break going back to college, uh, we opened a Bible bookstore. It was exciting being able to pray for the customers and meeting Christians from all denominations. My last job was as a manager of a window covering department, always again working with people. So now as an area president, I'm again working with people. I believe everything in my past has prepared me for what I do today for the Lord.
Hi there, my name is Shirley Duncan. I live in Santa Maria and I'm the Area Aglow President from Lompoc all the way up to Paso Robles. And the title of my message today is, What's Your Name? Let's pray. As I pray this prayer, make it your own. Father God, each person you have created is unique and special to you. We are all different and we approach you in different ways. Father God, I yield myself to you. Use me in the way you have for me, not in the ways of my own making. I lay down at your altar every talent and spiritual gift you have given me. I lay them down, totally submitted to you, Lord. Use me as you will. Amen. Recently, while at lunch with some ladies, the subject of names came up. And I said, well, my name means from the green meadow, negatively. And all of a sudden, they started to describe what it would be like. Flowers, birds, animals, ponds, trees. And then I could see the positive side of my name. In Proverbs 22.1, it says, a good name is to be desired. Praise God, I have a good name. In the name book by Dorothy Astoria, the definition of a name is used to identify a person. Animals don't have names, just species. Humans are the only ones with names. And this book also tells you the origin, the, the meaning, and then the spiritual meaning and the scriptures. And I've... Uh, given this message before and there was one lady that came up to me and she said you know what i wanted to change my name but after this i know i have a good name so thank you for giving me that word sticks and stones will break my bones but names will never hurt me not true names can hurt you names can mark you for life this, is co not, this causes you not to reach the full potential and plans that God has for you. This causes you to have names such as shy, ugly, lazy, do, dumb, stupid, and you won't ever amount to anything and many more. This is verbal abuse, which tells the victim what they are, what they think, and is name-calling and destroys the victim's self-worth. Speak over yourself, Galatians 3.13. Christ has redeemed me from the curse of the law and become the curse for me. God thinks you are special, unique, one of a kind. Because of a low self-image at one time, I was like the first words in this song, I Will Change Your Name by DJ Butler. And as you listen to me speaking this song, put yourself in it and remember what you used to be and what you are now. I will change your name. You shall no longer be called wounded, outcast, lonely, or afraid. I will change your name. Your new name shall be confidence, joyfulness, overcoming one, faithfulness, friend of God, one who seeks my face, from being a woman who was wounded, outcast, lonely and afraid, to one who is confident. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Philippians 4.13 Joyfulness, the joy of the Lord is my strength. 
Nehemiah 8.10, overcoming one, I overcome by the blood of the Lamb and the word of my testimony. Revelations 12.11, faithfulness, with faith, I please God. Hebrews 11.6a, friend of God, I am a friend of God, as in James 3.23. One who seeks my face, if I look for you with all my heart, I will find you. Hebrews 11, 6b. God changed names in the Bible days from Saul to Paul, which means small and a dynamo of energy and faith. God said he was to be an instrument of his to bear God's name before the Gentiles. Abram to Abraham. Abraham was told he would be a great nation and he would be a blessing. Simon to Peter. Peter was told he was the rock on which God would build his church. And the list goes on. So he changed my name from sinner to redeemed, according to 2 Corinthians 5.17. If I am in Christ, I am a new creation. Old things have passed away. Behold, all things are become new. During a recent sermon on redeemed, the Lord gave me this word. I'm no longer a slave. I've been redeemed. Redeemed by the blood of the Lamb. Forever set free by the price that Jesus paid. I stir up the fire that you put within me. Fire that I can't contain. It's my choice. I choose to walk free, forever free. And again, a song that's really spoken to me is I Have a Maker by Paul Beloche. I have a maker, he formed my heart. Before even time began, my life was in his hand. He knows my name. He knows my every thought. He sees each tear that falls and hears me when I call. I have a father. He calls me his own. He'll never leave me no matter where I go. And in Psalms 139, 17, it says, How precious are your thoughts toward me, O God! They cannot be numbered. They outnumber the grains of sand. Also in Psalms 139, it tells how God knew us before we were born. Wow, think of it. More than all the sands, that's how much he thinks about us. You're always on God's mind. It's too wonderful to perceive. He knew me then, and he knows me now. A song that has some lyrics that relate to this is, Redeemed, how I love to proclaim it. Redeemed and forever I am. Redeemed, redeemed, redeemed and forever I am. In Isaiah 62, 2, you will be called a new name and you will be a crown of beauty in the hand of the Lord and a royal diadem in the hand of your God. And also in a Revelation 3.12, He who overcomes, I will make him a pillar in the temple of my God, and he will not go out from it anymore, and I will write upon him the name of my God, and the name of the city of my God, the new Jerusalem, which comes down out of heaven from God, and my new name. And from a word in season by Dick Mills, the name of Jesus personifies him when spoken in prayer and deliverance. It invokes all his majesty, authority, power, rank, character, and excellence. His name embodies all that he himself is and has. In Isaiah 9, 6, For unto us a child is born, unto us a son is given, and the government shall be upon his shoulder, and his name shall be called Wonderful, Counselor, Mighty God, the Everlasting Father, the Prince of Peace, Anointed One, Alpha and Omega, Loving, kind, beautiful Savior, lovely, great, glorious, magnificent, marvelous, name above all names, the great I am. And there are more names of Jesus. Find some that speak to you. As the song 
break every chain goes, there is power in the name of Jesus to break every chain. The chain of poverty, jealousy, fear, depression, and whatever is holding you back. And a song I wrote tells it all. There's power, power, power in the name of Jesus. His name can heal, deliver, and make whole. He came to save the lost and set the captive free. So go in his name, lift up his name, lift up his name on high. Jesus is wonderful and precious, and at his name every knee must bow, and every tongue confess that Jesus Christ is Lord. Just the mention of his name heals, seals, and delivers. And what was the price he paid for this? The price was paid in full on Calvary. And from the song, Risen Son, Praise him, all you sinners. Sing, O oh, sing, you weary. O oh, praise him, all you children of God. We lift high his glory, shown throughout our stories. We praise him as the children of God. Our great Redeemer, glorious Savior, your name is higher than the rising sun. Light of the morning, you shine forever. Your name is higher than the rising sun. And God wants you to speak out who you are, your identity, your personality, your spiritual gifts. It's time to stir up what he has put into you. You have all brought a photo of yourself and uh, glue it onto a piece of paper and write those things you are. Take it home and look at it often to remind yourself of who you are. And a word from the Lord, I knew you before you were born in your mother's womb. You are so precious to me, and I love you just as you are. You don't have to change and try to change anything about yourself. I will do the changing, and I will reveal myself to you in a new and mighty way. Draw closer and closer to me. You will have need of it in these last days. And those things in your past that wounded you, made you feel lonely, fearful, orphaned, and depressed, can be changed. The Lord can heal you of those wounds. Let him do a work in you. And we thank you, Father God, that you seal this word into the hearts of those that listen to this. In the name of Jesus, amen. Hi, my name is Shirley Duncan. I'm the area president for GLOW on the Central Coast. And I wanted to share with you a word that the Lord gave me this morning. Oh, my children, come unto me. I am all you want and all you need. In my presence is fullness of joy, the kind of joy that the world cannot give. Press in, press in with all your might 
in all your being. Allow yourself to come away with me into the heavenly realm, above all the cares of the world. I have many things to tell you. I love you, my children.